Hey everybody, welcome back to the Awesome Lindsay channel. Let me explain this light setup real quick and uh, maybe help you with some gel lighting. So right over here we have our first light. It is a speed light. I'm thinking it's a uh, V860 version 2, just a standard Godox speed light. It's shooting through a strip box. And the strip box has a grid on it. There's also a orange gel on this uh, speed light. And that's the reason I'm using speed lights for most all of these is because they take gels a lot better than they do than like a regular strobe would. So most of this light setup is speed lights or something with a Fresnel head, which actually brings me to my second light. It's the AD200 Pro. And this one has the Fresnel head on it because I can put a gel on that. It has a blue or a cool color gel. I think it's like a teal or something. And that is shooting through a Westcott Rapid Box. And uh, actually on these speed lights, I'm gonna put a card right up here in the corner and you can see which uh, speed light kit I'm using. All right, onto our next light. I'm gonna move over to the camera left side. I have a another speed light and that's got a yellow gel on it. And that one's just giving a little bit of light on the side of her, kind of a, a specific pointed rim light, if that makes sense. And then the last light I have is a 400 Pro and that one's not gelled because it's difficult to gel that one. It's shooting through a strip box and the strip box has a grid on it. So I don't recall the power of any of these lights, but let me explain a little bit why it doesn't really matter. So let's say we have this first light here, which is the orange light. Um, I turn that on, put the gel in it, expose for it, cool, we're good. And then I bring in the 8200 Pro and that one is a brighter light than the uh, speed light. So that ratio would be a little bit off. And then I put on a blue gel, which is it absorbs a little bit more of the light. So metering and, and all that stuff for the light would probably give me an exposure that I may not like. So what I do is I put the gel on, turn the light on, take a shot. If it's too bright to my eyes or to the look I'm going for, I turn it down. And same thing if it's too dark, I turn it up. So do that with that second light. Same thing with the third light. I uh, turn that on, put a gel in it. If it's too bright, turn it down. Too dark, turn it up. And then I do that with all four lights. And so I really just shoot to whatever I think looks best. So it'd be very difficult for me to tell you the light output and say, go ahead and do it yourself because depending on the gels you use or the distances you set, it might be a little bit different. So basically you just wanna start with one light, get your exposure on that, bring in your next light, get your exposure on that. And you just shoot to what looks good to you and really not to ratios or light output power. Moving on to the second look, we have a four light setup. Uh, I'll preface by saying this 8200 Pro right here is not being used. So our first light here is a speed light and that has a snoot on it and the snoot has a grid on it and the snoot has a gel on it, which is yellow. And that's just kind of uh, creating this, you know, focused beam of light right on her face. And then I have a 400 Pro and that's shooting through a beauty dish. It's like a 25 inch beauty dish with a grid on it, as you can see. That's just creating some light on her right side, just kind of on her chest, around her waist and on her hair up here. And then I have a background light that's sitting on the floor. So you're not able to see it in the uh, video, but that's got a blue gel on it. That's a speed light as well, because I could put a gel on it. And then the last light is a 400 Pro on uh, camera right and that's shooting through a strip box with a grid on it. And that is creating that edge light just on her left arm and the her left side of her waist and her hip. And so that's the light setup for this outfit. Hope you guys found this entertaining. Share this with another photographer friend if they're interested in this type of content. If you guys do have any questions, leave them in the comments field and I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.